I'm here with Kayvon Wallace of the Philadelphia Eagles. Man, how's this week been for you when you've taken it all in? Man, it's been a dream come true. You know how you, you know, you're a kid, you, you sit there and just imagine things. And I was imagining me playing in, in, in the NFL and in the Super Bowl. And it just, my imagination just became bigger and bigger. And my faith became stronger and stronger because I just, you know, I believed in myself. And I, and I believed in, you know, whatever I believe, um, whatever I feel like, you know, I wanted to do, it'll happen for me. And... You know, just with a little bit of hard work, you know, because because prayer without work is dead. So every single day I try to, to try to better myself, um, better my position that I'm in, whatever, you know, the circumstances I was in, whatever the case may be. Just trying to just, you know, do more for my family, do more for myself. And man, just this moment is really, truly like a, a dream come true. Like. I'm 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 blessed, and then to 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 be in high school and win it there, and to go to college and win it there, um, this will this will be something that you can't even ever imagine. So you've used the word blessed, you've used the word faith, and I want to go there a little bit. Tell me about the importance of the Lord in your life and your spiritual journey as you've grown as a football player, but also growing as a man of God. So when I when I first got to Clemson, um, I feel like those my first two years was um, a, a journey of me becoming a man I was by myself I didn't know nobody there uh, I knew you know I had teammates but they were all new to me and it was like a fresh start for me so um, I had to figure out you know how to how to be alone how to be okay with being alone how to you know just do things on my own and it ultimately helped me find my faith for myself uh, my mom you know she grew up in a church you know we went to church, all that. And I feel like, you know, me having that exposure definitely opened my, my faith, opened my belief in, in the Lord Jesus Christ to, you know, to see how he applies to my life. Because everybody hear him different, feel him different, all sorts of things. And when I got to college, that's when I really found Jesus for myself. Um, I started, you know, going to, to Bible study on my own. Um, me, me and my teammate, Darian, we actually started uh, this thing called Rainbow Retreat, okay. and it's basically like a bunch of our teammates who come together in prayer. Basically, wow. it's like a it's like a little Bible study almost, but but it's exclusively for our guys, yeah. and we called it the Rainbow Retreat. But um, you know, just just starting that up and and just seeing the impact that had on my life, um, seeing the power of. You know, just believing, um, having a faith, and number one thing that I felt like I learned um, from Jesus Himself was the fact that He is in us, and just believe in yourself, and and, and just continue to do whatever you got to do to to live your life the way you want to live it. Uh, we all are different. We all are special. Um, we all, you know, have our own fingerprint, and even if you're a twin, like it's it's so many different things about us and that's one thing that God does a great job with is create you know he created this world he created us to to be ourselves and to do that so you know he helped me just find myself and my confidence and, and everything that I believe in how about this year this season being a professional and growing as a man of God as a follower of Christ it's a it's a journey so when I got to the league I kind of had to like restart um, I was a rookie you know, I didn't have that, that same Bible group that I had. Um, you know, it's new teammates. I, I didn't know much people here. You know, I had to, you know, restart, refresh. And it's like, a, it's like even with your faith, you kind of got to, like, restart and refresh so you can get, get acclimated to, to the environment that you put in. And I believe, you know, my journey in college helped prepare me for, for the league but it, it's still it's still new to me. So me trying to, you know, go to church out, out in Philly or, or find a church out in Philly or find a Bible study out in Philly, um, it was kind of already established when I got here, you know, Pastor Ted and, and everything he was doing. But I, I kind of was, like, hesitant on going at first because I ain't know him. I didn't know much about him. Um, you know, my mom was doing a great job of, you know, just keeping me in a loop, sending me YouTubes of you know, the videos of certain pastors, all that. And just, just you know, accepting the, the fact that I had to start over. 
and going through that process. And it actually helped me to, to strengthen my faith, um, strengthen my belief. Um, I, I, I've gotten closer to my teammates. I've gotten closer to Pastor Ted. I've grown more um, confidence in myself. And, you know, it, it helped me ultimately, like, just figure out what I want to be, what I want to do in life. Um, I actually started a football camp this year um, for the first time. And, I, and that was something that I've been wanting to do, but I was, I was just hesitant on a lot of things. And, and God just said, go for it. And, you know, many prayers, many, many long nights with my mom talking to her and, and just, you know, asking about what I want to be, what I want to do. Um, this, this year alone has, has helped me grow as, as a man, um, as, a, as a person, as a player. And, and I'm definitely very thankful for everything that I've been through and, and the journey. It's all about the journey. And what a platform to be at the Super Bowl and have an opportunity to point people to Christ. Yeah, and every every game, before every game, I try to, like when we run under the tunnel, I try to, you know, let everybody who's there see me. You know, I, I completely surrender myself. Like, a, a bunch of our teammates and everything, you know, they get on one knee and they, and they pray, and then they get back to the, to the sideline. But I want to make sure people know, like, when, when they see me, they see Christ. And, and I heart my heart on that. I heart my head on that. And I try to live by everything that, you know, God has set up for me. He is Kayvon Wallace. Hey, man, thanks for the time. All the best to you and uh, best wishes on Sunday. Sir, appreciate it. Appreciate it.